video. The cool sights. The amazing weather. And best of all, the samba. One, two, four, five, one, two, seven, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, Ah, then today's your lucky day, my friend. I know the best samba teacher in all Rio. Samba humbug. Do I look like I need lessons? Ha, huh. keep an open mind, El Matador. You never know what you might learn. You guys forgot about Rio's main attraction, your game against Palmentieri. They're on top form, and we need to be prepared. So then, why are we at the beach? <gasps> For some serious, serious, serious training. Ah, oh, man! Another perfect day in paradise. Listen up, boys. Palmentieri attack in numbers, making them very dangerous, but vulnerable to quick counters. Ah, and training on the sand will improve our pace. Exactly. The game plan is simple. Defend deep, dispossess, and get the ball wide to Tiger. He'll use the twisting tornado to catch Palma off guard. Any questions? Yeah, uh, is that meant to be Tiger? <laughs> <laughs> you want art lessons? I know the best teacher in all Rio. <laughs> Okay, let's give this a whirl. Tiger, you can play against Palma, but put too much pressure on your knee and you could be out for months. I'm sorry, Tiger. We can't take any chances. And that means... No, no, no. Twisting. 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 Tornado. Tornado. You need some moody violin music? I know the best music teacher in all Rio. Sorry, man. Not interested. What is that? That, my friend, is Capoeira, the Brazilian martial art. And let me guess. You know the best teacher in all Rio? He trains on Hosinia Hill. Hmm, maybe I can still be Twisting Tiger. Listen up, boys. Yeah, yeah, more serious, serious training. Actually, I'm giving you the day off. Huh? Who are you? You guys rocked training yesterday, so I booked us all... Yes! ...on a day-long... Yes! ...sightseeing bus tour! Yeah! Oh, no! Welcome to the Rio de Janeiro bus tour. Prepare yourself for hours and hours of non-stop interesting facts. Unfortunately, the aircon is broken. But if you look under your seats, you will find a complimentary bag of extra salty peanuts. Gee, thanks. This road built Ugh. at the turn Even of Even serious, century. serious, serious the training is better than this. What's up, dude? I think I found a new way to do the twisting tornado. A way that won't hurt my knee. But I'm stuck here. 
<laughs> Don't worry, dude. We can handle Palma. This isn't about the game, Shakes. I'm Twisting Tiger. Without the Twisting Tornado, I'm... I'm no one. Nice work, guys. Perform like that tonight, and Super Strikers are in big trouble. Especially now the Twisting Tiger is out. Donaldo, don't be overconfident. Super Strikers still have plenty of match winners in their side. And Coach has a backup plan. I think it's time we did some header training. And if you look out the window to your left, see the magnificent Sugarloaf Mountain. Cool! And do we get to go up there? Not part of the tour. And also on the left, you will see the area of Lapa, famous for its big parties. <gasps> also not oh. part of the tour. And coming up on the right is the famous Hosinha Favela. Senior Hill, this is it. This is where I can learn capoeira. You gotta help me get off this bus, Shakes. Ugh, okay, fine. Staples, greaseproof paper. Hold on, everybody. I think it's time I say what everyone is thinking. This bus tour is amazing. We should do this in every city we play in. Hey, you guys leave Shakes alone. He's right. This tour is very informative. this master <laughs> it's you wait a second are you also the art music and samba teacher rhythm vision expression capoeira incorporates all of these things besides guys gotta make a living right the first step to mastering capoeira is the jinga Are you sure this isn't part of your samba class? The jinga is the basis of all capoeira. It lets you switch from defense to attack in an instant. The trick is to wait for your opponent to make the first move. Then, when his defenses are down... Huh? Counter-attack! The botanical garden is the perfect place to spend a hot, hot, hot day like today. But, but it's not part of the tour. tour. Please stop. You're ruining Rio! Next up on the tour... Uh, we gotta get out of here. Well, now's our chance. Come on, guys. It'd be disrespectful to coach if we just left. And that concludes the first half of the tour. For the next four hours, we will go. We on got a to get off this bus! Haha, <laughs> 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 yes! Good job, my friend. Keep it up. So, when can you teach me the handstand spin? <laughs> oh, there, Tiger. What's the hurry, man? Nothing, I suppose. It's not like I'm playing. But I should go watch the game. Support the guys, you know? Don't worry, my friend. 
I've got the best seats in all of Rio. <laughs> nice. Huh? What? They're preparing to face Lanky? They know our strategy. Zhao, you have to teach me that move. Now! Rio de Janeiro, a land of surf, soccer, and samba. Huh? Truly, what? truly, a place hmm? defined by outdoor living. And on your right, you'll see the famous Copacabana Beach. I don't believe it! Second, yourself on the beautiful white sands with the wind and the ocean. All right, you watching? Now, you try it. Okay! A for effort, my friend. But I think you need a little more training. Hey, what's this got to do with capoeira training? Nothing. But thanks for the help. Sorry, coach, but that tour was just so boring. I know. And I was on it for another three hours. There's one other thing, coach. We don't know what Tiger is. Don't worry about Tiger for now. We've got the game plan. We've got the players. Now, let's get the result. Tiger! Remember, my friend. For the spin to work, you must use the Jinga. Thanks, but I've got what I need. At least do one thing for me. Yeah? Take a flyer for your friends. Welcome to Palmentieri versus Super Strikers, live from Ramba Stadium. The Brazilian maestros have a full strength side. But Super Strikers are missing Twisting Tiger. Huh? And with their on-form player out of action, do Super Strikers have a plan B? Yep, get the ball up to the tall man. Huh? Oh! Unfortunately for Coach, Edwin saw that strategy coming a mile off. Magnificent goal from the Samba boys. No twisting tiger, long ball shut down. Super Strikers fans must be hoping they have a plan C. Actually, I think plan A just arrived. All right, woohoo! <clears throat> what can I say? Rio, amazing city. Where have you been? Just because you aren't on the pitch doesn't mean your teammates don't need your support. I can give them more than support. I can win this game. You mean? The Twisting Tornado is back in action. And 
Super Strikers make their first substitution, twisting Tiger on for length. Hey, wait a second. If Tiger is Plan A and he's coming on after Plan B, then Plan B is Plan A and Plan A is... Someone get me a pen and paper. Ugh. Twisting Tiger is on the ball. Can he make an impact? Well, you don't get much more impactful than that. He's turned his signature move upside down. <laughs> Must still be in the testing phase, Brenda. Where's the pace, Tiger? We need fast counters. What's up with Twisting Tiger? He needs to use the Jinga. The what? Funny you should ask. <laughs> wow, now Tiger's really giving it his all. Uh, pity the whistle's gone. Yeah, not even half time could wait for Tiger to finish that move. So, to sum up the first 45, Super Strike has tried Plan A, Plan B, Plan A plus B, but seeing that Plan A was Plan B, and A plus A is 2A, then... They had two of the same plan? Ugh, I need more paper. Selfish play? Not following instructions? This isn't like you, Twisting Tiger. I have my signature move back. I'm more me than I've been for days. You ain't defined by one move, ma. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, then why is my name Twisting Tiger? Hey, uh, Tiger, uh, some guy once gave me a very good piece of advice. Always keep an open mind. You never know what you might learn. <sighs> you guys are right. Of course you are. I guess I was in such a hurry to find my identity. I lost it. And you aren't the only ones I should have listened to. The second half is underway. And surprise, surprise, Paul Mentieri are on the attack. Aye, but the question on everyone's mind is, because plan B was plan A, plan C then is actually plan B. So do Super Strikers have a plan C, which very well might be plan B? It's a question I'm very sure no one but you is asking. Donaldo on the ball. The Tiger is waiting for him. Wait for your opponent to make the first move. And when his defenses are down... Oh. Counter, Counter attack! attack. Special? Spinning from defense to attack in an instant! He's turning Palmer's world upside down! This is the life. Sure beats a guided tour, right, Coach Man? Ha! Couldn't agree more. An upside-down twisting tornado? How on earth did you come up with that? A capoeira master taught me the technique. What? <laughs> that spin was next level. I know, right? I'd do like anything to learn from that master. Well, today's your lucky day. Is it true 
that you plan to shave your afro for the new Super League season? Uh, if I did that, where would I keep my power comb? El Matador, El Matador, over here. Can you comment on rumors you melted the Super League trophy into a golden statue? Of yourself? Not true, but tempting. North Shaw, our sources say you might join Hydra this season. <laughs> Yeah, well, your sources must be drinking seawater. Dancing Rasta, what do you say about reports that Duma has rejoined Invincible United as captain? Ha, that's the silliest rumor of them all. Yeah, not even United are crazy enough to let him back. Man, the off-season's been tough for the press. Yep, no footy to report on, so they gotta make up crazy stories. Hang on, hang on. tell me about it. Well, they don't have to wait much longer. The Super League is almost back in action. And how was everyone's holiday? I worked on a new album. I played soccer. During wow, off breaks. season. On the couch. Oh, you dudes won't believe what I did. Had an insane time! Surfing? Uh, yeah. That all sounds pretty cool, but nowhere near as exciting as a guided tour of the castles of Bavaria. Oh, I learned so many interesting facts. And did you know that King Ludwig II had a wooden leg? Oh. Not to be mistaken for Ludwig IV, who had a wooden arm. There was also King Gunther IX, who had a paper mache knee. Time to put the holiday behind you, boys. Yeah, Klaus. Uh huh. Winning the Super League title was one thing, but keeping it is going to be much, much harder. Prepare yourselves for some intense preseason training. Coach, is it true that you throw shoes at your players when you're angry? Ah! Ah! Gah, this is ridiculous. We'll never be ready for the season with all these distractions. Maybe we need to get away, do the rest of our preseason out of town. It'll have to be completely isolated. And yet, very classy. Hmm, I think I know just the place. It's called... I gotta say, it's great to be away from the media. Yeah, no more cameras on us 24-7. Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> you sure about this place, Dancing Rasta? Trust me, Coach Man. It has state-of-the-art facilities, two perfect pitches, and, most importantly, complete privacy. This is the perfect preseason training camp. Great news, guys! It took me a while, but I managed to find the official Amianto Island guy! Ah, man, here we go again. <laughs> Did you know the island is home to over 500 plant and animal species? Oh, like the spotted Kwondo bird. <coughs> the island has an extremely diverse plant and animal population. Yeah, the whole club was a very quite fascinating flower. <coughs> huh? Huh? Super Strikers? Invincible United. What are you doing here? Let me guess. The perfect preseason training camp? Ha! Too perfect, it seems. We have football pitches on opposite sides of the island. I didn't think it would be a problem. You obviously don't follow the Super League. I specifically booked this island for its privacy. One of us has to leave. But how do we decide who? 
I have an idea. Why don't we play for it? Duma? So not all off-season rumors are made up. You let him rejoin? Last time I saw Duma play, he got sent off and ate the red card. Duma may be a bit rough around the edges, but he's strong and ruthless, the perfect captain. We have a very different definition of a perfect captain. Welcome back to the Super League, man. It's good to be back. So what do you say, Dancing Rasta? Winners stay, losers go home crying. But whose field do we play on? Yeah, who gets home ground advantage? Guys, considering we have the place to ourselves, why don't we play across the entire island? You're on. I know you couldn't just give in to United, but playing across the island? What were you thinking? We didn't come all the way here for you to play cross-country soccer! It'll take fitness, strategy, and teamwork. Everything we need to work on for the new season. And if we win, we'll have a mental advantage over Super Strikers before the season even begins. If we work as a team and play our best, we'll be unstoppable. Besides, I have a plan that will guarantee victory. And if you'll follow me this way, you will see the historic town square, the historic well, the historic blacksmith's workshop, this historic brick. Did you know that? Dude, enough with the factoids. Fine. Did you know that I never wanted to tell you this super interesting fact anyway? Rasta. Duma. Let's get underway, shall we? We score here in the north, and you in the south. Uh, how do we know which way is which? Well, did you know there is a flower on the island that... Don't worry, dancing Rasta. A real captain is prepared for anything. Why not? You know the rules, gentlemen. Uh, what are the rules? There aren't any. But I do have some advice for you, Rasta. Keep your eye on the ball. Close! Cut him off at the well! United! Close him down! It's too crowded. We have to get out of the square. El Matador, dummy run. Gotcha, Captain. Cool Joe, flick on. Sure thing, brother. Shakes to Ali. Got it, Rasta. One, Captain. Too early for congratulations, man. We still got a long way to go. Huh. No, you don't. 
Looks like you've run down a blind alley, Super Strikers. Hmm. Are you two going to say anything to each other? Anything at all? <sighs> it's going to be a long day. Man, I'm used to getting out of tight spaces on the pitch, but nothing like this. Yep, this is a totally different game, man. So we got to think differently, use the surroundings. The captain has to do it himself. All right, dudes. We're almost through Your the job. Ah! It burns! How's that for using the surroundings, dancing Rasta? <sighs> Give it up, Skara. You can't outrun me. <laughs> I don't need to. <laughs> See you in the south, loser. 127. 128. 120, huh? One thirty. One thirty one. Ah! Did you know you guys are dirty cheats? Man, should have guessed United would be good at this game. Huh. Yeah, because it has no rules. Yeah, tell me about oh. it. What are we gonna do, Captain? This crazy free-for-all does suit United style. So we gotta play to our strengths. Just because we ain't on the pitch doesn't mean we don't need a strategy. Now come on, let's show United why we are the champions. One, two, three. Super Strikers! First up, we need the element of surprise. And one of Block's perfectly timed tackles. Then Cool Drow will use his pinpoint crossing to get through the rough. And Shakes finishes the move with some dribbling skills on the green. Ha! All in one. Oh, oh, yeah. Come on, Captain. Dancing Rasta's making you look bad. Don't worry. 
They're going exactly where I want them. Hey, guys, I think we lost United. But they were right behind us. <sighs> Relax, Cap. The dudes probably gave up. Yeah, they're already packing their bags for the flight home. Hmm, maybe. Oh, wow, this is it. The flower I've been talking about. Did you guys know that it always faces Klaus? Klaus! There's no time to stop and give annoying facts about the flowers. Hold up, guys. What was that, Klaus? This flower always faces north? Huh. If there's one thing I know about being a captain, it's always listen to your team. Hmm. Please, someone say something, do something, anything. Hmm. doing here? <laughs> they fell right into my trap. Uh, uh, what? Huh? <laughs> Rasta, Rasta, Rasta. A good captain always plans in advance. To compass. That's right. We rigged it. North and South swapped. <laughs> you brought the ball all the way to your own goal. Check. Pretty smart, Duma. But you forgot your own advice. Oh, really? And what advice is that? Always keep your eye on the ball. I don't need a compass to know where North is. Yeah, he's heading right for your goal. Team Duma. Yeah, all the way home. Hey, did you guys know that this island is where we kicked your butts? <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you even gonna say goodbye? Please say goodbye. It's easy. Goodbye. See? <laughs> you guys are just doing this to mess with me, aren't you? Facing United has really motivated the guys, but there's still a long season ahead. Yeah, the real challenge is only just beginning. Like being invincible United captain again. No comment. 
And where have you been the last few days? No comment. So you're not denying you were experimented on in a secret government lab? No comment. Or that you had robotic feet surgically attached to your ankles? You really want to know where we were? We were playing a cross-country soccer tournament against Super Strikers on an island, okay? Ah, uh, come on! You expect us you to expect believe us that? expect us to buy that nonsense, sir? How gullible do you think we are? Tactical Division reporting for duty, sir! Yeah, nine. You have identified Super Strikers' key man? <laughs> Duh. Shakes and Del Matador scoring all Super Strikers goals. You're right, Uber, sir. But 65% of those goals were supplied by one person. Ah, who? Klaus. If we stop him, Super Strikers goals will dry up. So how do we do that? With the ultimate in psychological warfare. Operation. Alter Ego! Welcome to the Alpine Hotel, boys. You know your roommates for the tour. Department of Defense! <laughs> oh, yeah! Put us in the left wing. No way! The right wing! Oh, yeah! Six! Ruby Power! I'm not saying that. Come on, it'll be fun. <sighs> Roomy power. I still don't get why I have to stay by myself. <laughs> That's because you've never heard yourself storm. Yeah, dude's like a steam train. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Roll call at 0630. Don't be late. Mid-shakes! Be overstepped! <laughs> Shakes! Klaus! You'd better be ready! <laughs> uh, ready for action, coach? Ha 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 ha! Hmm. Phew. Thanks, dude. That was close. <laughs> Roomy power? <laughs> Roomy power. For a quick interview? Well, of course, if you El like. El Matador, oh. Shakes, seven goals between you in the last five games. How do you do it? <laughs> I would say all credit to the guys, Lena, but all the credit should go to me. And a little bit to Shakes. <sighs> We're on form, because Klaus is on form. Yeah. 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 <gasps> yeah. Uh, hi. Is this the? Uh, I'm Klaus. Mr. Klaus. We've been expecting you. Ooh. Ooh, so cool. Wow, baby, darling, it's you. Uh. I'm Vena Hot Dog, your director. <laughs> So, how would you like to be television's newest superstar? Catman! Oh, no. But why me? <laughs> oh, come now, Klaus. You're an athlete, top of your game. Perfect for playing Catman. I suppose. Besides, you two are so similar. Natural born heroes with awesome sidekicks. 
We're awesome sidekicks! <laughs> Introducing Dog Boy! Good dog. Boy? <laughs> <laughs> and you're funny! The camera loves you already! <sighs> Coach would never allow it. Well, we won't tell if you don't. The plot is weak, the character motivation unconvincing, and don't get me started on the ending. Yeah, I agree completely. But I meant the experiment on Klaus. I don't get it. What has this got to do with football? Let me explain. Catman or Dog Boy will play 24-7 in the Hotel Alpine. <laughs> Everywhere Klaus looks, he will see himself. Huh? The hero. <laughs> Catman will be the name on everyone's lips. Some Catman guy? Why just be the best actor in the business? And uh, how is this going to stop Klaus? Yeah, surely it is only going to make him more confident? Exactly. But it is this false sense of power that will make Klaus greedy. He will start believing he is the hero who can do everything by himself. I'm the cat man with a cat plan. Please, anything but the cat man. Is there anything you can't do? Woo, woo, woo! Sheik's Udel Matador supply line will be cut off, and Super Striker's run of war will be over. Ready to roll. Huh? Shakes, Klaus, you up? <clears throat> Pretty much, Coach. Uh, hurry up, Klaus. Your teeth are clean enough already. No cavities for that guy, am I right? <laughs> Dudes! Catman's skills are like uh, Olympian. Dog Boy? That dude knows how to take a hit. Blammo! Catman and Dog Boy is so uncool. It's cool. Yeah, for the first two hours, I thought it was lame. But three, and I was hooked. Hey, Coach was doing his rounds this morning. But I covered for you. <laughs> so, where were you? I was... I went for... a run! Yeah! I was running! Ready when you are, Klaus! You're not in drill! Gap, coach. I could have scored. Coulda, shoulda, did it. I'll get it right. I always do. Hey, Klaus. You okay, dude? 
You were acting really weird at practice. There's nothing wrong with my acting, Shakes. Uh... <laughs> Look, I, uh... I got to get an early night. Running again tomorrow morning. Hey, I'll join you. No, Shakes, uh, bad idea. If you come, who's gonna cover this coach? Roomy power? Yeah. Roomy power. Okay, Rumi. Let's see what you're really up to. I'm putting these two together. Chase, Klaus, you'd better be ready. Be right there, coach. Huh. Ah. Be right there, coach. Be right there, coach. No unauthorized people. Strict instructions. Oh, I'm a friend of Klaus. Yeah, even stricter instructions. No friends of Klaus. What? No, no, no. It's it's cool. We play soccer together. For Super Strikers? Strictest instructions. No Super Strikers. Okay, okay. Sheesh. I have to speak to Klaus, but how? Oh, Klaus, baby. Darling, I'm just so excited about what you have in store for us today. Dog boy, you're late again. Why can't you be more like Catman? Clout, I mean, uh, uh, Catman. Can we, uh, talk for a second? Say, there's something different about you. You've been working on your physique, haven't you? Okay, places, people! You too, dog boy. Hey! Let me out! I'm gonna miss my call! Again! Your chucking's getting out of hand, Chuckler! Out of hand? Don't mind if I do! <laughs> Good stuff, dog boy! I owe you! A pie! Catman! Oh, Catman! That person can stop me! Yes! Klaus! What a move! Were you people all watching this master Klaus in awesomeness? <laughs> The game to win. Klaus, wait! I need to talk to you. It's me. Happy, everyone. Klaus has left the building. Good work, tactical division. Seems Klaus has bought into your little plan. Dog boy! The colonel said at ease. You can take the mask off, yeah? Uh, I prefer to stay in character all the time. Oh. Huh. I like this one. True commitment to the Iron Tank cause. Match day at the Fortress Stadium. It's been a grueling week of preparation for both teams. And it's been a grueling week for me, staying in a hotel that only has one channel. Meow, 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 Catman! <sighs> like I haven't heard that song enough. Klaus, where were you? Where I was doesn't matter. All that matters is what I'm gonna do to Iron Tank. And where's your roommate? Right here, coach. Super 
strikers have been highly effective in the last few games. Kennel, Matador, and Shades keep up their goal scoring against the mighty tankers. I know about Catman and Dogwood, Klaus. Knows about Catman and Dog Boy. It's a massive hit show, Shakes. It's not actually a hit show, Klaus. The only place it's ever shown is the Alpha. Uh, Shakes needs to be thinking about running into space, not running Klaus down. Yep, being out of position could result in a real catastrophe for Super Strikers. I'm getting really sick of your attitude. <laughs> See what a great team we make. McCatman and Brenda. So you know my secret. But Catman and Dog Boy is a chance for me to do my own thing. But that's just the point, Klaus. It's not your thing. Yes, Klaus! I'm Catman, and nothing can stop me. Alter Ego is a success. Yes, yes it is, Uber, sir. But... Just kidding. Klaus, <laughs> Catman and Dog Boy is some weird iron tech experiment. Ha, huh. perhaps you're just like El Matador, upset that you're not scoring the goal. Come on, man. No, he's right. I am upset. You gotta believe me. Really? Ha. Huh. Next time, I'll bunk this big ball. Come on! My story isn't that bad, is it? Klaus won't listen to me, but I know someone he might listen to. Klaus, what are you doing out there? Yeah! Pass the ball, dude! Yeah, come on, Klaus. I can't believe Iron Tank's gonna break our winning streak. Guys, you're talking like we already lost. That's not how heroes roll. Klaus, I've got a bone to pick with you. Dog boy! Ooh, I love this show! Shakes? I don't like this show anymore. And without further ado, let me introduce Catman. Whoa! You are Catman! Can't believe we didn't see it before. <laughs> don't tell me. Coach is the chuckler. Guys, Catman is a setup by Iron Tank. Come on! You're making television? I was there. I saw Uber, Von Pushup, everyone. No way! Oh, brothers. So, I'm not perfect for the role of Catman after all? <laughs> Klaus, you are a hero every time we play Soccer Man. Dude! Iron Tank are so freaked out by your game, they had to invent a whole fake TV show to trick you. <laughs> and we're all each other's sidekicks. Get it? Shakes, I'm sorry I didn't believe you. And I'm really sorry about that pie. Roomy power? Roomy power! Klaus, think you've got a little bit of acting left in you? Top first half for a men and men. Let's see if they've managed to consolidate their break.
next TV show we will be making is an action drama starring you. It's called Run For Your Lives, and production starts... I still think I would have been the best Catman. <clears throat> to be or not to be the Catman? That is the question. Whatever, dude. You got nothing on the Klausmeister. Uh, can you sign this? Like, as Catman? <laughs> sure. Just, uh, don't let it go to your head, okay? Don't worry. I don't need to be a superhero. I'm already a super striker. Hello? Anyone? I'm getting hungry. Wait to get onto the floating stadium. The sun, the sun. The all-you-can-eat seafood buffet. Uh, uh, huh? The floating stadium isn't that cool. This wouldn't have anything to do with the fact that Lequido plays here, would it? No. Dude is a total kook, though. Is this Cut that out, man. Uh, you two are way uh, too competitive, man. Your captain's right, North Shore. Don't let your rivalry get in the way of your responsibility to the team. Where is the floating stadium? Coming right up. Hey, North! Liquido! How you doing, bro? Ha <clears throat> ha! <sighs> <sighs> even slower than you are on the pitch! And your jokes are even worse than your surfing! All right, everybody. Ready for a tour of the facility? be able to stay underwater for months at a time. Oxygen is extracted from seawater. Nutrients from seaweed provide our food. Mm. The moon pool is how we access the ocean when the stadium is submerged. Whoa! What are those? Aquatic propulsion devices. We use them for underwater maintenance. Us pros call them APDs, so you can stick to the full name. And here is one of our newest ideas. This ball converts energy from movement into electricity. Perhaps one day, we'll be able to power the whole stadium with the football plane in sight. And finally, the control room. This is where we oversee all the stadium's operations, including sinking and floating. Pity there isn't a button to make you a better player. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, right! North Shore! What did I tell you about your rivalry with... Coach de Aqua. Category 5 Storm approaching. Ah, what a perfect way to end our tour. You're about to experience one of the greatest marvels in the world. Ursula?
Hydra are the fastest team in the Super League. They use their pace to slice through opposition defenses. Leave the slightest gap, and they will exploit it. Defenders, stay in formation at all times. Only commit to the tackle as a last resort. Don't worry, coach. I'm gonna own that kook, Liquido. <sighs> this is not about your rivalry with Liquido. It's about playing as a defensive unit. Shakes, Tiger, give the defenders everything you've got. Guys? the seafood, Big Bo. I have something much more delicious. Ocean bounties. Tentacle Tim will do anything to get his suckers on this delicious cereal. Look out for him in the darkest depths. The secret ingredient is deliciousness. <laughs> the secret ingredient is sugar. <sighs> no shot. Liquido. Pity we're stuck down here, bro. Otherwise, I could have given you some surf lessons. Bait me all you want, Liquido. It ain't gonna work. If you want to fish, there are plenty of them out there. Talking about out there, I've been trying a new extreme sport. APD racing. Whoosh. Pretty intense stuff. <laughs> Might be too extreme for you, though. I knew you were up for an extreme challenge. Around the stadium and back underneath. You ready? Let's do this. Three, two. Ah! Liquido!
Says no such thing as Tentacle Tim. Says no such thing as. Laquino, I can't believe you. Attention, all players report to pitch immediately. Oh, Coach is gonna be so angry when he finds out what you did. Face it, dude, we're both in for a world of hurt. Maybe we should keep it on the DL. Yeah, we both keep our traps shut, and this may work out all right. Our starboard power core malfunctioned, but I have no idea how. I do. This is obviously the handy work of... Tentacle Tim! <laughs> Seriously, brother, cut down on the sugar. This does mean we don't have enough electricity to get back to the surface. What? What? But don't worry, the stadium can easily sustain us until the power core is repaired. But the game's in a few hours. So, let's play then. But what about the fans? How are they gonna watch me score all the goals? That's my job. Des, Football 360 camera crew. Yes! No matter where we play, I'm sure the fans are all behind us. Uh, I think you mean above us. Uh, uh, Match day live from the floating stadium. Well, from above it, actually. Hi, Brenda. Hydra's amazing stadium may be stuck on the ocean floor, but the game will carry on as scheduled. And we're gonna bring you every second of it thanks to our one-woman camera team. Can the defense hold out better than their teammates? Yes, yes, and yes again! North Block and Eagle Eye know how to hold their ground, even though they're underwater. Yeah, their defense is too gnarly, dudes! Totally closing us out! <laughs> Don't worry. I know just how to lure North Shaw out. <laughs> Come on, North. What are you waiting for? Hold your position. Come at me, bro. Hold! What's wrong, you kook? Scared you're gonna lose to me? Just like you did in the race. Coach, I'd consider subbing North. Uh, looks like he's taking off the whole team. And I think I know why. The floating stadium's been breached. What? Wow. Wow. I can't believe it. This is terrible. Tentacle Tim will do anything to get his suckers on. Guido, this is totally our fault. We gotta do something. Nothing to be done, bro. Come on, this is your home ground. I'd never abandon Striker Land. Besides, I thought you were up for an extreme challenge. Ah. 
This way! Oh no! One of the APDs is missing! Tentacle TM! Take it! Just take it all! You monster! Uh, how much of that stuff have you eaten? Uh, ten or twenty? Boxes? Come on! Dude, you, my friend, have a serious case of the sugar crazies. Well, if Tentacle Tim didn't do all this, then, then who did? Us. Uh, what? We were racing the APDs. And crashed into the stadium. <sighs> but don't worry. Yeah, yeah. You guys head back to the surface. We're gonna fix this. And how do you plan to do that with no electricity? Oh, we've got one of the biggest power sources in the universe. Our rivalry. The more we kick the ball, the more power we create. Man, it's going to take some crazy all-action footy. Well, it's worth a shot. Yeah, lots and lots and lots of shots. in teamwork. Oh, ah, yes, it does. does. We've just received some phenomenal information. Super League teams usually play to raise the roof, but today, they're playing to raise the whole stadium. And it looks like even the fans have put aside their rivalries. Don't blame them. Today, either both teams win, or both teams lose. Powerball Online. Time ever. I don't know what to say. I 
I, for one, have had enough of the ocean. Ha, tell me about it. I can't believe I got so obsessed with... Ah, tentacle Tim! You were right, Klaus. This stuff is way better than a seafood buffet. <laughs> Tim does lurk in the darkest depths of the cereal box. <laughs> North Shaw. Liquido. You guys made a serious mess. And you did a pretty good job of cleaning it up. <laughs> we did it, bro. Yeah, we make a pretty awesome team. So, uh, anyone know the final score? Totally won. Oh, please. The game was all ours. You play like a wet cat. Please. <sighs> it's this good while it lasts. Give this game kind of a point to make trophy so strike a land. Ellen to Global Orbiter. Approaching satellite dish. This is Global Orbiter, reading you loud and clear. Seven degrees left. No, no. Three degrees right. A little bit left. Now a time. That's it! Perfect! Woo! I'll be right in! Game's well underway and scores are tied. But if anyone can break the deadlock, it's Cool Joe! Yep, the King of Spin has been terrorizing Barca with his crosses. And there's the new one! The Corkscrew! Cool Joe crosses into the box. It's the corkscrew! And the crowd goes wild! <sighs> Sorry! Ellen, this is a space station, not a football pitch. It's bad enough that you're using state-of-the-art monitoring equipment to watch a Super Strikers game. Oh, come on! I can practically see the broadcast satellite out the window. It'd be a waste not to use it. Asteroid 237 is within range. Let's get to work. Hey, did you guys see this meme? Ages ago, yep. Klaus. Long time ago. What about this fail vid? Check this out. Oh. 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 I saw that one ages ago. Well. I bet you guys haven't seen this. Uh, hmm. A blurry potato. No, El Matador. It's a massive asteroid called 237, and it's coming right past Earth next week. Well, you guys are going to be too busy looking down at your phones to look up at the asteroid. Seriously, Cool Joe? Why are you so anti-technology? <laughs> Dude takes old school to the next level. Yeah, old university. And what's wrong with that? Besides, I have a phone. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's not that old. Came with a fax machine attachment and everything. <laughs> Hello? Hello. This is the 21st century. You should join us here sometime. <laughs> hmm. Message from Coach. What's it say? The Orion game's been pushed back two days. Aw, oh, man. That's the same time the asteroid's coming past. Hmm. 
<laughs> cool Joe's new phone. Charger sold separately. Classic! <laughs> <laughs> Posting that on Nata immediately. All right, all right. Which one of you guys did this? Shakes. You're being suspiciously quiet. Oh, he's just angry that he's not gonna see the giant space potato up close. I really don't get why Coach Black moved the game. He's more into astronomy than anyone. Ah, Super Strikers. Welcome to the Soccer Sphere. Hello, hey, hey, Coach Black. Black. So, Coach Black, why did you move the game to the exact time Asteroid 237 passes? Oh, so great to have another astronomy aficionado in the Super League. Imagine, Shakes, as the astral giant passes overhead, two Super League giants clash on the pitch. A fitting tribute, no? Yeah, I suppose. And what's in there? <laughs> that facility will help us um, understand more about the asteroid. Cool. Can I check it out? I'm sorry, Shakes. Even the slightest interference could affect the readings. No one is allowed in Dome 237. Shakes! Practice! Barba, Barba, great stuff, guys. Forward to me. Coach Black has his side tactically astute and defensively organized. Breaking them down is going to be tough, but we've got something that no amount of planning can stop. El Matador's brilliant shooting? Oh, of course, my mistake. It's my dribbling. Oh. <sighs> He's talking about the corkscrew, big head. Ha! Cool Joe's crossing can't win games. You need a brilliant striker to score the goals. Ha! Wanna bet? Let's give this a spin. With the corkscrew, even a dummy can score. <laughs> or one of those guys. Hey! Dude, that was amazing! How do you know exactly where the ball's going to spin? Practice, practice. Uh, and what's another thing? Oh, yeah. Practice. until 2.37 gets here. And let me guess, the Natter satellite's right outside our window? It would be a waste not to use it. There's still a lot of prep to be done. We've got to be ready to analyze the composition, velocity, age, and trajectory of 237, as well as the electromagnetic and gravitational effects it will have as it passes. Because we're less affected by Earth's gravity up here, an object as large as 237 should have some unusual effects on us. All right, guys. Good practice. Ha, <laughs> yeah. You've earned it. Now, here's a story about a guy I know whose skill is out of sight. His funky grooves and his deadly moves give defenders all the pride. So, brothers of the huh? Super League, it's more about a shock. When you go Match 
tonight at the Soccer Sphere. Orion hosts Super Strikers. Oh, anyone got reception? <sighs> nope. Not me. Uh -uh. Cobra. The asteroid might be causing electromagnetic interference. Said so on the Global Orbiter Natter feed. Well, well, well. I have reception. Yeah, that's because your phone is coal powered. <laughs> <laughs> Forget your phone reception. Just make sure your attack is at full strength. Cobra. Totally. Yeah, okay, guys, let's come on, this. let's do this. Neat possession from Super Strikers. Dancing Rasta sends the ball to the left wing, and you know what that means. Aye, the King of Spin is about to lay down a royal decree. And there it is! Oh, so close! Early warning signs for Orion. Aye, but Coach Black doesn't look very worried. Once again, Dancing Rasta finds Cool Joe. <laughs> huh? Oh, uh, what was that? Uh, cool Joe did the Orion Defender's job for them. So unlike him to miss the target. Another terrible cross. And that one's even worse. What is wrong with Cool Joe's crossing? Hmm. Hmm? <gasps> hey, Roslyn, do you think the gravitational pull of the asteroid could affect objects on Earth? Hmm. Perhaps, but only on a very small scale. Like a spinning soccer ball. I need to warn Super Strike us. Uh, for research purposes, of course. It might be a little difficult to get hold of them with 237 interrupting the phone signal. Analog frequencies should be immune to the effects, but I don't think anyone still uses phones that old. You can do this! Cool Joe sends the ball straight to the opposition! And now Orion can counter my ball! Huh? Super Strike is a real trouble here! Oh! Huh? North Shaw misjudges the cross! Big Bull goes the wrong way! Yeah. One nil to Orion. And it all started with Cool Joe giving the ball away. Yep. In the space of one game, <sighs> the King of Spin has completely lost his touch. This is rash, irresponsible, and downright dangerous. Come on! There's an old communication satellite right outside. And, and it would be a waste, waste not, not to use, use it. Do you have any idea how many asteroid fragments are flying around out there? If one of them hits you... I have to warn Super Strikers. don't know what happened out there, Coach. I placed all those crosses perfectly. It didn't look like it. K-1 
Can you please turn that off? I, I don't know how. Yeah, they hadn't invented the reject call button when that phone was made. Wait, really? Yes, it doesn't have one. <sighs> Fine, answer it. Uh, listen, I can't really talk with... All right, which one of you is behind this? They say they're calling from a space station. Was it me? Oh, me? That's pretty good. If it was me, i totally claim it. Who is this? Cool joke? This is Ellen Thrace from the Global Orbiter. I hate to be pushy, but you need to listen. Now. This connection's dangerously unstable. Asteroid 237 is interfering with... Hello? Global Orbiter. I'm coming in. Like, right now. Do you guys have any idea what that was about? She said the asteroid is interfering with something. Our phones? I'm pretty sure she didn't call us from space to tell us we can't use Natter. Well, what else isn't working? I hate to say it, but Cool Joe's Crossing? Would explain why the ball's spinning all over the place, but can an asteroid do that? Bet we could find out in Coach Black's research facility. Ugh, but it's off limits to everyone. Uh, no it ain't. I saw the whole Orion team come out of that place last night. got to do with the asteroid? Let's find out. Now it's working? <laughs> I don't get it. Hmm. When in doubt, push the big button. Gravitational reverse commencing. Black created a way to reverse the spin of the ball? Not created, emulated. Asteroid 237 is messing with your crossing. And Coach Black trained his guys in here so they'd be ready. You think you can adjust? I don't know, brother. I've been practicing the corkscrew so much it's instinct. I can't just switch it on and off. Hmm, maybe I don't have to. Second half is underway. Can Super Strikers find a way back into this game? Keep it on the ground, guys. Short passes. So you think Cool Joe got the message? I really hope so. Then where is... Oh, look! Cool Joe switched sides with Twisting Tiger. Well, he can't do much worse than he did in his normal position. You sure this is going to work? Not at all. The King of Spin 
mean you're okay with us watching soccer on the state-of-the-art monitoring equipment? No, this is research into the effects of the asteroid on a soccer game. Uh, hello? Is this thing working? Reading you loud and clear. Wow! I can't believe I'm talking to a super striker! <laughs> I can't believe I'm talking to an astronaut! <laughs> Who knew it would be so easy to get Cool Joe into technology? Yeah, all he needed was the right motivation. Do you guys mind? Huh? Yeah, seriously. Can we get some space, please? <laughs> How much more space do you need? It. El Matador, dude! We're here for three days. What do you even have in all those bags? Kit bag, casual wear bag, smart wear bag, toiletry bag, hair dryer bag, fan mail bag, and spare bag bag. Wait, wait, wait. You have a bag to keep a spare bag in? Uh, you don't? <laughs> welcome, welcome, Super Strikers. I trust you'll enjoy your stay in our wonderful city. Thanks. I'm sure we will, Ma. Yep. Especially when we kick Cosmos's butt. Yeah. <laughs> you, you said got that it, Ma. Right. <clears throat> and Shakes, where is the rest of your luggage? This is it. <gasps> you don't even have a spare bag bag? Are we in some kind of alternate reality? No, Tiger Man. We're in Las Vegas. Oh, wow! Amazing! How can Brock sleep through this? That dude can sleep anywhere. Well, he better wake up soon, or he's going to miss the greatest city in the world! I can't believe Buddy Watkins has a giant sign of himself. Talk about over the top. Yeah, you guys just don't get this town. Vegas is all about the showmanship. And luxury and five-star cuisine. Apparently, they have the world's most expensive dessert here. The 24 Karat Golden Sunday. Woohoo! Yeah! Amazing! Vegas! Las yeah. Vegas does not have a good effect on him. Bring it on! Good stuff, Klaus. Great composure, Shakes. El Matador, keep it simple. Come on, coach. This is Vegas. We need to put on a show. Just ask them! Man, Cosmos are pulling out all the stops for the halftime show. Well, if they interrupt our next practice, there will be fireworks. Hmm? I'm calling it for today. We can't train with all these distractions. Especially you, El Matador. Huh? Where is he? El Matador, your away form is amazing. Three goals in four games? What's your secret? Well, it's all about doing the right preparation, Lena. 
I stay in the best accommodation, eat the best food, and train in the best facilities. Then, I score the best goals. That's it! We're getting away from this madness! Will you stop that? How can Coach be so cruel? Denying El Matador life's little luxuries. What you thinking, Mr. Watkins? Well, Ninja, I'm gonna give El Matador exactly what he wants. This has got to be some kind of sick joke. Ah, and this room is the punchline. Oh, not even Block could sleep on this pitiful excuse for a mattress. Chill out, dude. It's just two nights. Yeah, yeah. Hello, reception. Uh, can I please get a 6 a.m. wake-up call? Why don't you set your alarm? Oh, can I at least get some room service? What do you want? A 24 karat golden sundae with extra golden sprinkles. Golden sundae? I think not. Ah, seriously, what's in this thing? El Matador, pull yourself together. How can I, coach? We're in Vegas, and you're subjecting us to bad food, bad training facilities, and the worst accommodations in the world. The only bad thing around here is your attitude. Keep it up, and you'll be doing your sulking on the bench. I don't ask these things for myself, coach. I need the best to play my best. I'm doing it for my team. Oh, yeah. You want to eat the world's most expensive dessert for our sake? What a hero. Hey, El Ponytail. El Matador! Yeah, whatever. You got a package. Dear El Matador, this message is for your eyes only. Do you mind? <sighs> I see now that you really do need the best to play your best. So here it is. <gasps> he understands! P.S. Don't tell the others. I don't want them to think I'm playing favorites. No problem, coach. Shakes, where's your roommate? Uh, not actually sure, Coach. Haven't seen him since practice. Hmm. Hello, you've reached El Matador, professional footballer and all-around legend. <sighs> <laughs> Try checking the nearest luxury hotel. Wherever he is, he can stay there. Come on, Coach. El Matador may be a little self-involved. Okay, extremely self-involved, but... There's no way he'd put anything ahead of a game. <sighs> Fine. Go find him. And make it quick. Kickoff is at 3.30. Hey, man. What's the fanciest hotel in Vegas? You're standing in it. Fanciest place in town has got to be... Hello? Hello, Mr. Matador. Buckingham Palace Hotel front desk here. This is your 9 a.m. wake-up call. Is there anything else we can do for you, sir? Hmm. 
I've got the best accommodation and the best training facilities, so all I need is... One 24-karat golden sundae with extra golden sprinkles, please. Excellent choice, sir. It will be with you shortly. <laughs> I'm such a big shot in this town, I can even decide what time it is. <laughs> what? Shakes? Make sure he doesn't find out El Matador's here. Hi. I'm looking for a friend who might be staying here. Uh, his name I'm is... I'm sorry, sir. But here at Buckingham Palace Hotel, our guest's privacy is of the utmost importance to us. Okay. Thanks anyway. Shakes! Shakes! Can I please get your autograph? <laughs> totally. Of course. What's your name? Twenty-four karat golden Sunday. <gasps> yes. Uh, how about I give you my jersey instead? Throw in your boots, and you got a deal. <laughs> the things I do for football. El Matador, sir, your 24 karat golden sundae with extra gold sprinkles. Just leave it there, thanks. I'm on a roll here. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. How did you get over here? Shakesman, what happened to you? I think I know where El Matador is. Buckingham Palace Hotel. Told ya. And? You know how security is in those places. But I did send a message up to him. You shouldn't have bothered. The only way he's getting anywhere near a football pitch is if he's mowing the lawn. It's March night in the city of lights. Mac, we spoke about the singing. Ah, come on, Brenda. We're in Las Vegas, and I'm gonna commentate my way. Well, we may be in a city known for its big shows, but we've got a no-show in the game. Aye, Lanky is on for the missing El Matador. The Super Strikers number 20 hasn't even made the bench. Very strange. We have a clear pattern in this game. Super Strikers attack and Cosmos defend. It's going to take something special for the men in red to break through. Cosmos, El Matador is going to have the perfect game. Huh? Check the time, you're going to miss the game. Shakes. Dead end. Oh, here's a chance. 
Perfectly placed shot! But once again, Cosmos escaped unscathed. Come on, come on, come on! Where's my kit bag? Stupid private elevator! Why do you hate me? Mr. Matador, how can I help you? Huh? Mr. Matador, hello? A wake-up call. The elevator! I've been set up! Ugh. Ooh, comfy. But I cannot rest now. My team needs me. Escape plan! <laughs> oh, come on! Stupid extra smooth silk sheets! Huh? Hello, reception. Uh, can you please send up another golden Sunday? We're almost at the end of the first half, and Super Strikers are getting desperate. Yep, they may have had all the possession, but haven't been able to find their way through. Huh? Ninja gets the clearance, and he doesn't waste any time. The counterattack is on. Done. Stylish goal by the Cosmos star. <laughs> and he knows it. But it's all gone wrong for Super Strikers. Despite controlling the first half, they've missed that little bit of extra magic up front. Mr. Matador, your 24 karat golden Sunday. I'll just leave it here then. Very good, sir. This is not how a football superstar leaves the building. <laughs> Coach, I can explain. The hotel you booked me into, they betrayed me. Locked me in the room. The hotel I booked you into? Are you serious? Look, I know you said in the letter that you didn't want the other guys to know, oh, but... Oh, so now I sent you a letter. Of course! You think I'd make this up? Well, then let's see the proof, brother. It's in one of my other bags. Let me guess. Your imaginary letters bag? Listen, I love the best food, the best hotels, and the best training facilities, but nothing is more important to me than Super Strikers, the best team in the world. All right, guys, bring it in. One, two, three. They're on the bench. You guys gotta believe me. I was set up. Oh, yeah? By who? Please give a warm round of applause for Buddy Watkins' Buckingham Palace Dancers. It's Buddy's Hotel? Maybe you were set up, El Matador. Coach? You gotta let me get back at that guy. Please, put me on. You've had the best food, accommodation, and training facilities. So get out there and put on a show of Vegas proportions. What? How'd he get here? The missing El Matador has returned. But he has his work cut out for him. Cosmos are set up even more defensively than in the first half. Looks like Buddy Watkins is holding out for a 1-0 victory. Any ideas? Get the ball to me in the box. I know how to catch them by surprise. But El 
Admiral Matador still has plenty to do here. And oh my, does he do it! Thanks. A night in the best hotel in town seems to have really helped El Matador's game. For our last night in Vegas, Buddy has kindly offered us five-star accommodation on the house. <laughs> More like on the palace. 24 karat golden sundaes all round. Booyah! Well, you guys deserve it. Even you, El Mad Again? Really? Yeah, where is that deserter? <laughs> he says he's had enough luxury for a while. Um, 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 um. Stop it! Get off! <laughs> <laughs>